Five Nights at Freddy's is by far one of the most popular and top grossing horror franchises to ever exist. With the first game releasing in 2014, it's been almost 8 years since the first release in the franchise. And with over 7 games in the franchise, there is bound to be some easter eggs that have been forgotten due to time. So today we'll be looking at the top 5 forgotten easter eggs in FNAF. In FNAF 1, if you switch over to the cameras in Pirate's Cove and Foxy has just left the stage, there is a very, very rare chance that the Pirate's Cove out of order sign will switch and say it's me. And due to its insignificance, a lot of people have forgotten about this easter egg hidden within Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Besides, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 has much better and more memorable easter eggs compared to this one. For example, Golden Freddy was probably the most popular easter egg in this game. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, if you let the marionette escape the music box from not winding it up, and then you go to camera 7, there is a very rare chance that a hallucination of the marionette will pop up on your screen. And the only way to make this work is by spam flashing your flashlight on camera 7 as the marionette has escaped the music box. Now this one hasn't been so much of an easter egg but it is just very forgotten and not a lot of people really remember this. In FNAF 3, you can switch over to a camera and Mangle will be there, aka Phantom Mangle. And this will occur very rarely within the game and it is almost impossible to find. Then Phantom Mangle will appear in front of you across the hall in the window and make a very loud screeching noise. And this is that noise. It is very unsettling to witness and hear, and with all the combined chaos going on throughout the night, it does not help you one bit. And personally, this is probably one of my favorite easter eggs in FNAF 3. In FNAF VR, you can sometimes spot Helpy in some of the levels and in the main menu select screen. Now the chances of this happening is insanely rare as well, but it's not really unsettling or creepy unlike the others, it's kinda just a reference to the sister location character. But due to its insignificant and unimportant nature, it has been forgotten due to time. And it makes me happy that in FNAF VR, they tried to include almost all of the characters that they possibly could. It makes me happy to show that they still cared, at least back then, for the franchise unlike now. Now for our honorable mention, in FNAF 2, the most popular and probably most infamous in the whole franchise is Hoax well, was the purple guy animatronic. Now, this isn't necessarily an easter egg, but people did not know the truth back then, and people thought this was an insanely rare and almost impossible easter egg to get in FNAF 2. Unfortunately, that is not the case, and it is fake, but this has to have been one of the most popular hoaxes in FNAF history, and I just thought to include it because people used to think this was one of the rarest easter eggs in the whole game. In FNAF VR, there is also another hidden character that has once been in the previous games, and this is in the FNAF 2 levels. It is the endoskeleton that you would see in the vent and in the prize corner in FNAF 2. Now, I didn't even know this existed until I started making this video. This is how forgotten and how rare this easter egg is. The endoskeleton can sometimes appear in your office when you are doing the hard mode of this level. And the chances of even getting this easter egg has to be 1 in billions because I have not seen any other footage or even heard of this easter egg as I said until now. And this is by far one of the most forgotten and hidden easter eggs in the entire franchise. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe for more videos just like this. I am going to try and make more 5 Nights at Freddy's content just for you guys since it's doing very well on my channel at the moment. Please comment some video ideas that you would like to see down below. And please make sure to check out my shorts that I am posting because they are all related to video game horror. But anyways, have a great day and peace out.